the G spot. It's like a button. And it have a big G sign because when you tap it way too much, it makes you go crazy. Welcome back, my dear students, to another sexual education video with the naughty professor. I am Mr. Castellian, and this is the second class of this curse. Number two, secrets of the male G-spot and the difference between a straight curious guy and a sexually healthy open-minded straight guy. Okay, so we don't really need to be too scientific about this. The G-spot is literally the holy grail when it comes to sex. And no, nope, not only women have it. As a matter of fact, we all have our little precious G-spot. And just imagine where our dear creator decided to put it in us men. Literally, in us men, it comes with another name. It's called prostate. And most likely you have heard about the prostate before, maybe not for this matter. And actually it's not that it's actually located inside the ass. It's just that the best way to access to it through this matter is through the anus. By the way, what's up with that word? Anus, like, I mean, come on, even whole sounds better than that. Your anus. Don't you know my ass is in the case that you have never experienced the pleasures of stimulating your prostate before and you would like to try it, let me give you some quick coordinates. This is what I consider to be one of the most comfortable positions for this matter. Okay, let's imagine this is a bed and you are jerking off, doing whatever you want. You're going to put your legs up and you're going to open them. That will give you very easy access to your anus, as you can see, obviously. Holy shit. Have some lube next to you or use your saliva because the ass is not like the vagina. It doesn't lubricate by itself when you're horny. <laughs> we wish. Okay, pretty easy and simple, especially if you're new to this. You're going to pick one of your fingers and you're going to introduce it inside your anus. Once inside, you're going to like follow the way of your anus inside, going up. And you are going to, <laughs> believe me, you're going to know it once you reach it. If you have no idea what to do once you reach it, I'm going to give you my three favorite moves in order to stimulate myself or stimulate someone else's prostate. And these are not the official names, this is, these are just uh, how I know them, okay? I call this the tap. It's pretty much just, you know, tapping. Ta -ta 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 <laughs> nice, nice and simple. Second is like doing circles around it, nothing that complicated. And the third option, you can do like, you know, I'm gonna call this the caring. I don't even know why, but it's what is coming to my mind right now. Because it's, do, it's like doing this. Try that and let me know how it goes or, or actually just try it. You don't have to let me know. Okay, so with that solved, let's move on to another very important part of this video. The world is evolving. We see it every day, how some practices that used to be like Voldemort and Harry Potter, Voldemort. they are coming out to the light and it's the most normal and healthiest thing in the world to talk about them. So I want to go on and commend all those total top gay guys and all those stray guys who have no issues allowing their significant other to play with their ass. You see, the mind is so powerful that even if something feels good or tastes good or it's just good in general, but you are already so close to that idea and you're letting your prejudice get in your way, you are not even gonna get any joy even if you're trying, experiencing that that you're trying because your mind is already rejecting it. Why do I say this? Especially with the straight guys, it comes so often as a super macho thinking that if you let someone else touch your ass or you do it yourself and you actually enjoy it, you are already crossing sides. This boy is a 
It doesn't work like that, okay? If you do it by yourself or you allow your female partner to try it with you, that doesn't mean you are becoming gay. I mean, the fear of not doing it because you are afraid of enjoying it, that is actually a much more bigger issue. That is actually a proof of you repressing something, my dear. So do me and do yourself a favor and don't allow those prehistoric thoughts yeah. of stopping you from having a hell of a good time. Uh, Brenda, come on, come on, put the helmet on. No, let's roll away. Come on, you get me. Get me. Come on. Okay, my dear students, so we have reached the end of the class of today. If you enjoy it, please make sure you subscribe and hit that thumb up. And of course, get ready for next week because we're coming back with... Number three, STDs and why it's important to get all the possible precautions before having someone else come down your throat. Bye-bye!